we're going to be working on the physical property environment and in order to set up the environment that will be the minimal requirements in order to continue with the simulation environment we have to do two main things the first is adding a component list or sorry component to the component list and selecting one physical property method which is nothing more than a thermodynamic pack or how our universe will be let's say model with now we're not going to see that much into the physical property environment there are plenty of things that we could be doing right now but if you're uh, interested on this for instance if you want to verify which type of components they are or maybe if you are you don't, you are modeling something that is not present on the databases you can actually add pseudo components or non-conventional components if you're using a coal or a biomass material you can do that as well also if you are not sure about which type of method you should use in the physical property course we're going to see when to use equation of state models activity models or a mixed model in existing compounds also physical and chemical properties analysis so many times instead of actually using a distillation column and see let's say let's the typical question let's see if we can achieve that separation well it will be easier if you have a txy diagram or a pxy diagram and you will see that physically it is impossible so why even bother to model a distillation column which takes a lot of time and frustration when you can simply uh, do some graphs on several types of physical and chemical properties and the same is true with thermodynamic and transport properties if you want to verify a given property of a substance you can do that here as well but anyways this is what you can do in the physical property environment but the most important part right here guys is to start adding components remember that we need at least one component so let's go here simulation number one and what I want you to go is either select here components or here in components and you will be in this place right here I want you to start adding these materials so there are several ways in which you can do this if these are simple materials or very common materials you can directly type it always is a good practice to ensure that you are using the correct component name and alias so ethane this is another tip you can simply click c2 and hope that aspen plus will identify this as ethane which is very common c2h6 so instead of me writing ethane i just wrote c2 and i get this identified another way to do this is literally go and finding this so we have this search bar we can select several things right here I want to identify something that contains propane and this may take time especially depending on the size of the uh, database and here it goes the main problem I see especially for simple compounds is that you will find a lot of this so either search for for the alias remember c3 is what I want to see 3 h8 so right here this is the one I want to use so click here add to the selected compounds so you can see here proper slash zero one and then we have embutane let's see you can also try this let's see if this works embutane and as you can see nope didn't work so what I need to do is search like this and yes actually this is what i want so i click here add to the selected compounds and here it goes it has been now modified so let me just change this for the sake of my patients cycloxane so this is interesting uh, cycloxane is not that complex but it doesn't fit and as you can see here yeah we will need to search for this mm 
we know it has wow it doesn't see nine eight seven six should be something here this one right here selected compound so i added it and it's now added cycloxane benzene toluene so because they are very common and they actually fit or you can also directly add the uh, chemical formula especially if they are short or not inorganic materials and this is how we add the components to the component list what will happen if you i don't know maybe you have an error my tip is either leave it because probably if you are going to use it later on well you have it already otherwise you will need to go back and add it or simply delete it so this is how we add a component list to the physical property environment